Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Fraser, and in this video I'm going to show how to use Git within Eclipse to actually download an existing repository and set that up locally. So what have you got? Well, somebody sent you a link, probably on GitHub or some other system, with a link in it on how to access the Git repository, as shown here. So I'm going to copy that, and that's what I'm going to work from. So I'm going to switch back to my Eclipse. Uh, this is Eclipse, and I've got the uh, Git plugin already installed in this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want to import. I'm going to import a new project. And in the list here, under Git, I'm going to select a project from Git. I'm going to go based on a URI. I could import a local project if I had it already set up, but I don't. So I'm going to pull it down, I put in the URL, it automatically parses it into the host and the repository path. I then need to provide my credentials so I can actually log into the system. So I'm going to get it from, uh, let's see, I'm doctor. And then, password. Hopefully I typed that right. And I'll save it just so I don't have to type it in every time. Click next, it contacts the server, and it says what branch am I interested in pulling down? Well, master is going to be the one that I'm really working with. So master is the one I want to pull in. I'm going to bring it in. The initial branch, well, master is good. I'm going to name the path to the original remote server as origin. Just leave it as is. That's the default name. Click OK. Or click Next, rather. We'll import it in. Working directory looks good. All the defaults are fine. And it's going to finally add it in. So click Finish, and now I've got the project down. That was fairly easy, fairly painless. Now, what's really going on here? I don't really see what's going on with uh, Git. So under Window, and then under uh, Show View, I'm going to select Other. Under the Git, I'm going to pull up the Git repository and Git staging. You're going to bring up here. You, may, you can drag them around to move them if you want. And we can see here everything in the Git repository. What I'm really working with now is my local master branch. And this is remote tracking. By remote tracking, what that means is this local branch is following a remote branch. Remote is on this remote server down here. Origin, we can see origin slash master. So on the origin server, there's a master branch. If I go back to my uh, online, I can see here that I am working under the branch master. So there's a master branch here that I'm looking at online as well. Okay, so I've pulled that down. I've got up this and that. I want to now also show the history. So I'm going to go to Window, Show View, and then if history is listed here, pull it up. Otherwise, type it in, and I'll take the history under Team. So Team History, and that brings up this. Now it's not showing me anything in it at the moment, but what I can do is I can right click on my project under Git, go down to Show In, and select History. And now, all of a sudden, it comes alive. We can see what's been going on. So let me open up a file here. We can see Main, and it's pulled down. Now it's showing all the contents from the previous uh, demo on how to check in a project into Git. So we've got the initial check-in. I can then see that I had it added a simple output change, which is this. And then finally, I've pulled that down onto my system. So let me just uh, scale this off to the side a little bit. OK, so I've pulled that down. I've added uh, this. Note that I've got these Git toolbar here at the top. If you're not seeing that for you, go to Window, and then uh, customize perspective. Go to the command group available tab and select Git. Once you click that checkbox, hit OK. It's going to show you this toolbar at the top as well as adding a Git menu to the toolbar. So now I can do things. Let's do a simple change. Now I'm going to do this on the master locally push it up to the server. This isn't the best way to do it. Look for a follow-on video that's going to show how to do it with um, using the correct sort of branches. We create a topic branch, merge it back into the master and so forth. But for the moment, just as a kind of a quick and dirty check, this is working. We had test two, one here, so I'm going to duplicate the line. And I'm going to go test two. Run the program to show it works. See the console here, test two comes up. 
So I've made a very simple change to my program. I'm now going to commit. So I'm going to say, I'm going to commit the change. And I'm going to say, added a second test output. Now I could say commit and push here. It's not a great habit to get into, so I'm just going to go commit. I've checked the file. So it commits it. Now that only committed it to the local. The changes only goes into the local branch. The remote branch, and now here's what's interesting. I'm going to select this one here, double click on it, and I've now switched. The checkbox switches over to my remote, remote tracking branch. You'll note that the output statement isn't here. If I double click back on this uh, local master, we see that it's here. So there's a difference between the two branches. I'm going to right click on my master, and I'm going to say push branch. And I can say oh, I want to configure it and so forth. I'm just actually going to cancel that. That's a bit awkward, a bit long to do. I'm just going to go back up here and I'm going to say push changes to upstream. And by push changes to upstream, it's automatically going to select the origin. We see here the change that's going to be pushed up. I can expand it if I wanted to, check out what's going to happen. Sounds good. And now push it up. And we can see here this hash number, all of the um, git check-ins and so forth, the snapshots of what's being checked in is represented by a hash number. And we can see here the hash on this matches the hash on that, meaning that it's up to date. Now if I double click on this, we see that the file here that I've got open is the same. So that's great. Let's actually see that it really worked. I'm going to go back to my web browser, reload the file. We see here now that we've got a uh, change just a moment ago. The ch um, Change the last change here added a second test uh, output. That's exactly what we did. I'll click on it and it'll show us the change. So we added this one line to add generate a second output. All right. So what do we see? Well, we saw how to download a repository from online and it pulled it out from the online repository in this case GitHub and created a local repository for me. It, it automatically configured the local and remote branches and it set up the tracking branch because I pulled down the master branch it set it up to track the remote master branch and that's critical for when I try and push changes upstream we saw that I could make a change and then push them up we saw quickly how to change over the um, or show the different uh, perspectives the different views in here note that I've now got this new change this added second test output so inside my history, it's now showing me the history. And this is going to get much more complicated in later uh, demos when we start adding other branches. Have a look at the uh, comments below, and it'll give you a link to the different um, Git tutorials in this sequence. Thank you for watching.